Hello, this is Dr. Liu at Li Time. Rosemary hydrosol is a wonderful benefit on our hair and skin because it can stimulate the circulation, it increases the health of the hair, and even boost the hair growth. Rosemary has antibacterial, antiseptic properties. This gives it a benefits on the treating the skin problems such as acne. And because it's antioxidants, rosemary hydrosol can boost our skin the shiny and looking younger. And in this video, I will demonstrate you how to make a rosemary hydrosol from the fresh rosemary. And also, I'm gonna show you my rosemary. I grow it for a couple of years. It's every year I have a lot of rosemary to use. If you master the two points I give you today, you can grow your rosemary unlimited. Today is very bright, so probably you're gonna see a uh, very uh, shiny <laughs> the pictures. Um, the rosemary. Um, so first thing I want to talk about how to grow rosemary. Rosemary actually originated from a Mediterranean area. It's a, it loves a hot place, and there are, um, first it loves the sun. It loves light. Second, it doesn't love doesn't like water. So you don't need a watering a lot when you grow the rosemary, but I do want plant the rosemary in a place with the full sun. You want to have uh, as many sun hours in a day, you know, find the best spot. So I just grow the place where, where is, uh, uh, you know, is there is no, nothing uh, block the sun, sunshine, and uh, also facing the south uh, is a perfect spot for rosemary. And you can use, you know, just uh, like a sand and uh, the soil mixed together and uh, grow it. Um, so this rosemary, I, I have a grow for a couple years. It is a perennial. It, it will grow back after the winter. Um, you can see how big is it now. There are many different types of uh, rosemary. Summer rosemary can grow very high. It uh, can grow over or like a six feet tall. Uh, those rosemary mostly for the just like a decoration on the street. So it doesn't have as a strong as this, like it's called a chef's rosemary. Uh, not as strong as this one. This one has very high oil content. So if I do this, my hand even become shiny because the oil, the oil go onto my hands. So that's um, wonderful. Also has a very strong rosemary scent. And now is perfect time to start a uh, harvest the rosemary. I'm gonna show you how to make a uh, rosemary hydrosol. In the same box uh, by the rosemary, I have a uh, rose. You see there are many of the buds and I expect to uh, bloom uh, in a couple weeks. Next video, I'm gonna make uh, uh, talking about making the rose water from the fresh rose. So, Keep mark on your calendar. Here's a rosemary I just collected. Let's do a quick rinse. Just wash off any like a bugs or the dust. Um, I gotta use the KD5 to make the hydrosol today. KD5 is a perfect uh, hydrosol maker for the small batch distillation. Let's uh, it take less time and make a right amount of the hydrosol, you know, good for a person use or a small family use. Um, the rosemary, you know, just, uh, if, you know, just for quick, just fold it, fold the, the sprig into the cup like that. And I try to just push down a little bit, uh, cover the hose. You know, just you don't want to leave a big hole so the steam will bypass it. Uh, just uh, cover it with the rosemary, the leaves. Um, for the rosemary, 
the leaf has uh, way more the essential oil compared with its stem. So if you want to make a strong rosemary hydrosol, you can just uh, peel, you know, just like this, take off the leaf and put in the steamer. Um, but you can also just using the whole thing. And that's it. That's it. Your uh, the steamer is uh, ready. Oh, another tip is uh, with time, wrap a uh, little bit of oil, the vegetable oil, as uh, you know the screw line. This can help uh, the you know, the closing open this more smoothly because it's a stainless steel. Add a little, one liter of uh, the filtered water in the pot. Just screw on this and plug in that uh, condenser. Then the setup is ready. Start the heat up. and get ready to uh, collect uh, the rosemary hydrosol made from uh, the fresh rosemary. I do get a, a little bit of oil floating on top. You can see uh, like uh, the color stripe on top. That's the oil. I'm gonna show you the color of the hydrosol. Let me turn off the heat. It's pretty uh, cloudy, so you know the fresh leaves contains a lot of water compared with the dry leaves or the dry herbs. That's why the dry herbs normally bring us more high quality, the hydrosol compared with the fresh. But uh, even you know you see that I made the hydrosol from the fresh, the rosemary is still cloudy. That's a good sign of the herb contain a lot of uh, essential oil. Thank you for watching. So hopefully you get the points how to grow successfully the rosemary and make the rosemary hydrosol from the fresh herb. This is Dr. Liu. Please like the video, subscribe the channel. See you next time.